Hi everyone, it's Grant here at the New You Plan, and today I'm lucky enough to interview the one and the only Sonia Gaffey. How are you, Sonia? I'm great, thank you, Grant. And you? I'm keeping very well, thanks for asking. Um, I suppose I, sh I shouldn't have even asked how you're doing. The fact that we're speaking means you, you've done amazingly well. You've gotten contact. Yes. And uh, it's all about sharing your story now. So uh, basically, Sonia, just, just to start off with, because this is the question that's you know, at the front of everyone's yep. minds with this is, do you mind me asking how much it was you lost on the new year? Um, I've lost four and a half stone. Four and a half date. stone. Yeah. That's fantastic. So Thank do you, you mind me asking? Oh, you're welcome. I mean, you definitely <laughs> earned that one. You've done it very, very well. Thank you very much. And do you mind me asking then, Sonia, how that works out in terms of how many dress sizes you dropped or jeans um, sizes? Well, I... I probably filled myself a bit, and I was squishing into, you know, 18 to 20, I'd say, 18s possibly. Um, and then I have dropped down to a 10 to a 12. Right, mm -hmm. so 10 to 12. That is an amazing, an amazing jump. You've done so well. Thank you. And do you mind me asking then how long it took you to achieve those results? Well, my journey was probably longer than lots of other people who do the new year and stick to it for six months and do amazing things. Mine was like slightly longer winded. Like I started last uh, May, June of 2012 and I did May, June and July and I stopped and refed for holidays. And I, at that time I'd lost two stone, taking me, um, I thought was, you know, feeling much more comfortable in myself and I was, you know, going to go straight back in and, and keep going but then Christmas after holidays all hit. So I maintained my two stone loss at that time um, until this year um, when I sort of May, June, July, August, I had started back sort of the end of May, June, July, August and have been kept going really until October. Um, and I dropped the other two and a half down time frame. Well, that, that's fantastic, Sonia. And yeah, I know what you said there in terms of you were concerned that it wasn't as quick as everyone else, but that's the thing with the plan. It's all about keeping the pace that keeps you happy. Yeah. And I mean, it sounds like you're, you're a very confident person and you're confident in your achievements, which means there's no going back at this point. Oh, so absolutely not, no. Regardless of what way you took the journey, um, some people prefer a more direct route, but if this is the way that works for you, yeah. that's key. Yeah. You, you've done it right then. I, I, for me, I, the main thing was I just didn't want to lose and gain back on, which I haven't done with the new year, which is fan so fantastic. And that's why I sort of, I stuck to it and I made, like kept my maintenance and I went back on. And it's just amazing how good you feel. So the initial weight, weight loss gives you that drive and then you just start seeing everything. It's just great. It's fantastic. Absolutely. No, that reminds me of me when I first did it. Literally within the first couple of days, I could see like the around my face yeah. the weight starting to drop off and it's it's an amazing feeling. You don't and feel the bloatiness you... anymore, you know. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> And I, I also remember one, one vivid memory scooting across the courtyard here and uh, having to keep grabbing my jeans. That was a, a fantastic yeah. thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyone that was looking at me was going, oh, he couldn't even buy a pair of jeans to fit. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was grinning ear from, from ear to of ear. Of course, so. it's the most amazing yeah. feeling. And the energy <laughs> levels change completely. So yes. you're able to do so much more. Within a week, after a first week, if you get the first week under your belt, you just like feel so great. But you, yes. it makes you drive, you know, have the drive to keep going. So Absolutely. 100% agree with that one. Yeah. Down to experience that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> and Sonia, so we've, you know, I've got an idea then. Well, not an idea. I know exactly what it is that you've achieved, and it's awesome. Now the question is, for me, do you mind me asking what it was that pushed you at the beginning to start? So the fact is, on before day one, the things that made you think, this is it, this is why I want this. To be honest, I tried so many other things. I, like, I, I have never been a skinny mini, you know. I've always sort of carried a wee bit of weight, and my weight fluctuated a lot. Um, and then I tried lots of other different diets, you mm. know. They, they just didn't work. I couldn't stick to them. I just, there wasn't that 
you know, that drive there. I didn't feel the initial after three days great that would push me to keep going on. So I dropped in and out of them, to be honest. So when I, I had two little uh, girls, who are now five and seven, and I just felt, you know what, I have to start gaining my life back, if that sounds a bit mad. I have to start rediscovering me again and who I am, and this isn't where I want to be. You know, I was 15 stone, I was heavy, I was working full time, two kids, you know, five and three or whatever, and mm. it just not was not where I wasn't happy. So one day... I was Googling, actually, diets and things, and the new you popped up, and only, I knew the name from someone else at work had mentioned it in passing, and I was like, oh, so I, I read into it, and Jules was really big on the whole um, page. I think she was doing it at the time, so, so I followed her journey, and then I just said, right, that's it, let's put the first order in. What have I got to lose? One box of food. Mm. And then the box arrived, beautifully wrapped pink <laughs> tissue paper it was like getting a present and I was like right god this is a good start you know something really positive here Let's... so I start started and that's I've never looked back I'm gonna have to tell Ryan that because it was most likely him that packed it <laughs> yeah they're fantastic the packages are fantastic you know the, the, that's the bonus you get the box it's not like just getting you know horrible packaging it's really nice it's well placed well thought out Ellie throws in the odd little comment, little heart sheet, and it really makes you feel that you're just not a number in this big, you know, world. That that you, you know, you deserve to be slim, and you deserve to have these nice things. And the food is fantastic. That's fantastic. So, Thank do you mind me asking, was there any other reasons that maybe also pushed you? I mean, obviously, your kids are first and foremost the most important reason. But was there anything else there that pushed you? Well, I well. I didn't want to be the fat mom, you know, a fat mom, <laughs> fat mom, it sounds terrible, but, you know, the fat mom at the gate, school gate, I didn't want to be, you know, in my early 30s, not, you know, looking in the mirror and going, gosh, you, you know, you're young, you look great, I didn't, you know, I'd lost myself, so my sister's wedding was coming, I had to find myself, I had to look good, I had to feel good, not even looking good, I had to feel good first, so I could look at myself and think, yeah, you're worth it. And that mm. one day, that was it, I just said, I have to do something, loads of different diets had not worked, and then I just risked it for a biscuit with the new year. You know, one box Absolutely. of food wasn't going to cost me you know, a huge amount, because cost is a huge factor when you're trying to lose weight, because you can't mm. be affording to buy food and diet food, and mm. so, yeah, I found just, thank God, it's the best thing I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, as soon as we saw the, the photos, the transformation photos, we were all, it's mind-blowing, you've done so well, two thank thumbs you. up, to, you know, thank big you. round of applause. Because even my sister said, it was like you really in the photo, and I see, just can't <laughs> remember, yes, it was, you know, it's terrible when you look back and you think, God, was that really me? But yeah. Well, very well done. And the, the next thing then is, so you, those were the reasons for starting. Yes. And have you found that as your, you know, you've achieved your weight loss goals, have your perceptions shifted and have your goals and dreams also shifted? Um, you know, because obviously you were doing it for your kids and and that sort of thing. But you, would you, did you find as the journey went along, you were th thinking to yourself, hey, this is great, I can do this now, and then that yeah. sort of thing? Yeah, well, I never, you know, you know, spent a lot of time on myself I never did went to any classes or gym classes or I was like god I'll be the fat girl at the back and I won't be able to you know I'll be ridiculous so I didn't really do anything I you know go to work look after the kids and I was the girl sitting in front of the telly every night and I and then when I started to lose weight I gained the confidence to be able to go out by myself and join classes that I never was able to go to before you know and meet new people that didn't look at me like I was the fat girl in the class, but I could, you know, mm -hmm. I was there, I had the energy to do it, which was a huge thing for me, because I always danced, as, you know, we, we were very active kids. Um, yeah, I struggled with my weight, but it wasn't until, you know, my late 20s, sort of, it started getting worse and worse and worse, and the kids, you know, having the kids and everything, and it just sort of went out of control. So, 
um, it was such a good feeling to have the confidence to walk out the door and go and join a class or walk, get dressed up and go out for the night and not feel, you know, you're in a big tent and you have to cover up. And you're the girl that is the funny, smiley girl, not, you know, the pretty one in the room. It makes you feel so different about yourself. You look at yourself completely different. Can be right. I'm mm. with you. Well, I, you know, you've definitely achieved all those things in terms of just the person you are, the person you've come across as on this call. It's fantastic to see the, the confidence that you've gained, and you know, even in your photos, the, just that smile is <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. You've done so so well. <laughs> and one thing that Julianne would normally bring in at this point, because it obviously, as a lady, it's a a big part of your life. Yeah. Have you noticed then, and even you, you touched on it there about what you would wear on a night out. You know, has your wardrobe changed completely? Yeah, no, completely. I mean, I can wear, you know, skinny jeans, knee-high boots. You can, I can wear dresses going out. You know, yeah. I like, I posted that a, a couple of months ago. A dress, you know, girls, do I look? How do I look in this going out? And every, the feedback was amazing. And I was like, God, I'm risking it for a biscuit. Sure, go for it. <laughs> and you just, everything changes. You you don't go for, you know, you can buy things off the hanger. You can go into normal shops. You know, you can wear the little t tighter T-shirts and the jeans and the, the dresses and not feeling like you have to wear black tights and black, you know, cover up mm. the color. Your, everything changes your color. And your skin and everything is so much better and your hair and, you just feel so much more healthier. For, you know, forget the whole weight loss thing, but your everything improves. So, so it all goes hand in hand. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, my Thanks. wardrobe definitely changed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. And I suppose then the next thing, again leading on from that, was because you've come through it and you've done so well, and you know, there's this massive sense of achievement we have for you obviously every day wasn't the great day no so do you mind me asking what it was you did on the days that you may be having a little bit of difficulty the things that you the tools you use to keep you on track yeah i mean it really isn't every day smiley i mean you have to get yourself through day three which was horrendous for me because the first day you're like yeah i can do this this isn't too bad <laughs> second day is like poor oh, feeling you know a bit of a headache coming on, feeling, third day, you're like, I'm not getting out of bed, you know, that's how mm -hmm. I felt, Now I'm sure everyone's different, but, you know, the water intake really helps, so if you spread your water all day long, for me, like, I drink a litre and a half on, on my drive to work from Kildare to Dublin every day, and that's how I sort of start my day, so I'm sort of, like, already in the zone of, you know, three to four litres a day. And that right. the water intake helps. And on really bad days, I had an extra product if I needed it. I didn't beat myself up about having, um, you know, four or five, you know, having a, a, an extra snack. It, it, like, I changed what I had and when I had it, really how I was feeling that day. As, so you can change and modify. You don't have, it, you know, stick to, you have to find what works for yourself, I think. So an extra product, or I'd go for a walk, or I'd, you know, have a bath or do try and keep your mind active I think you know mm -hmm. you've got so much energy to burn anyway so you're cleaning your house left right and center and you're <laughs> up out gallivanting because you just if, for me if I sit down and stop that's when I eat you know when I'm, okay. I'm sitting in at night time and the kids are have you know movie nights I tend to need to nibble so have an extra product I found that helped me through those times that everyone around me was stuffing their faces and I didn't want to feel left out or deprived because you don't have to be because the food tastes so nice. So, Absolutely. Well, that's, that's the, you know, everyone has their tricks. Now, those would be definitely some of mine would have overlapped with yours there. So that's why I always ask this because there's some things that may just instantly click for yeah. other people. Yeah. And because you've done every aspect of this diet, I yeah. was hoping to maybe look into your day-to-day -day routine, both on total food replacement and okay. then also refeeding. Okay. Um, well, I'm up. I'm an early girl, so I, you know, leave the house by half seven, seven half seven in the morning. And that's after getting the kids sort of organised and I'm out the door, and I drive for an hour to an hour and a half to work every day. So I 
water is my thing. I drink water all, you know, until I get to work. And at 9 o'clock, I'm dying for a cup of coffee, and I have to have my bowl of porridge because I've been up early. So every morning I have a bowl of new um, porridge. Even if I'm not on the diet, I'm still having the new porridge because I absolutely adore it. Um, and then my lunchtime at work is set between 1 and 2, so I have to eat at 1 and 2. Right. Um, so I would, I tend to have a hot meal at one or two, between one and two, to help me through the day. Right. Um, and black tea and black coffee is no problem for me because I don't drink milk anyway, so that's a godsend. And then if I needed something in between, I'd have a, a broth, you know, which is fantastic. The whole broth thing is just amazing when that came out. Um, mm. And then I tend to have a snack or a bar or something about, you know, the co- when they're all having coffee at three, or f- three, half three, four o'clock in the office. Mm, and so I'm right. not feeling left out. <laughs> and I have a coffee and the bars, which are, are the only, my life sense. They, the only thing really that got me through most days, the tropper bars. And then when the new ones came out, the cookie crumble bar was just absolutely divine. So, and I still do that. I still have that every day too. Um, and then I have my dinner probably about seven, and that then water up to the evening. That sort of was how I spaced my four products out during the day, so I never felt, you know, there was huge gaps in between. It, lots of people I noticed that I tend to have something really late at night, and um, you know, to get them through the evening. That was my daytime is my downfall really. I eat, I pick all day if I could, but right, I'm I'm exactly the same yeah. as you. That was why I used to have to have my exact times it was kind of like yeah. I was training my, my brain to know when to expect it and like you I didn't didn't do it too late in the evening yeah and uh, I'm glad you like the broth and the the, oh the new uh, the new bars, bars are fantastic and the chocolate snacks they're just I, I have them over anything nowadays I, I love them I still have them all the time <laughs> <laughs> yes they, they're definitely a, a certain amount of decadence to them yeah and I love them. They don't feel like diet, you know, diet, none of the food feels like diet food, but they really feel like you're having a treat, so. Absolutely. And I suppose then the next part was the the refeeding section. So was refeed something that, that uh, was a stumbling block for you, or did you fit quite easily into it? Yeah. When, I, when I'm when i thinking about it, I found it all very daunting, to be honest. I felt, mm. how am I going to do this? Oh, gosh, I'm going to put it all back on, you know, I refed originally the first time for holidays, and I was like, That's, I'm sure I've wasted the last few months, I'm just going to blow it now, I'll be on holidays, but I, I actually brought snacks with me, and when I was there, but for my couple of weeks refeed, it was great, because the maintainers group is great, and the girls post, like, their dinner, and what they've had, and it actually really helps you structure what you're going to have yourself, so, Absolutely. you know, when you see other people's portions and things you're like oh I didn't over, you know my plate wasn't oversized or I'm not doing this wrong and that's the important thing I think the whole communication with other people that are on the same in the same place mm. so no refeed wasn't um no it was really nice to have you know food but I was looking for I look forward to going back to total food replacement, food replacement. Also. yeah uh, absolutely I I think that for me that was one of the biggest things about going on to total food replacement yeah. is you feel a lot more organized in terms of you your nutrition you kind of you get that satisfaction of knowing that when you have that product it's exactly what you need exactly and and it just takes all the guesswork out of it, it makes you feel good about yourself yeah. you know you're doing the right thing yeah um, but that's also where refeed is important so we would I mean that momentum maintain is, is there and I'm glad that you you did actually manage to find your groove and it's something that we do support. Obviously, there's, we provide as much information as we can. Absolutely. And I, as I say, I'm glad you, you did manage to get through that all right. Yeah, and you actually, when you're on your journey, you, you click into a lot of the girls on the pages. I think the, pa- the Facebook pages are really, really important. So mm. you, you tend to nearly do a journey with someone. You know, so you're nearly refeeding at that time and you sort of know people, which mm. helps. If you link, you're able to link with someone else. You know, at that time, it really does help. I'd noticed that it yeah. does. I call it cycles. There's new you cycles. Yeah. You find there's a certain 
a group of customers that come in together and they all go through together and they all leave together and it, it, for us it's always nice to see people achieve their, their results and reach their goals and it really does mean a lot to us yeah. um, and then there's people that uh, it's there's quite some quite some stories to it I mean there's people that would um, for instance come join the new you yeah go through their plan and then they, they still just don't ever leave us they would you know, still buy snacks off us, and they say, "Well, we'll just ha I'll have your snacks because I know that they're a healthy yeah, treat." Yeah, I think I'm one of them. I'm going to be one of them <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want to lose that. It gives you that inspiration to keep on, even though mm. you're not in the hot zone 100 percent, but you're still really aware of everything that you've achieved and like you, what you're eating, and and to hear other people's stories, it's really nice to read their stories. Mm. You remember, you know, how you were feeling. And so you don't go and ruin it all. You know, that's the whole point. You don't want to, no one wants to put back on all the hard work. Absolutely. That is, that's vital. That's key mm. to keep that at the forefront of everything yeah. that you do. And I suppose then the, the next thing would be, we've already touched on it, but it's still a question I'm going to ask because it's one of my favorite questions in the interview. Um, you said that you love the, the chocolate cream cookie yeah. bar, but... I was going to ask if there's any other that are your favourite. Well, the, I love all the bars. Like to be <laughs> to be honest, you know the the hazelnut bar, the white chocolate raspberry that bar. It, they're be all beautiful. I love them all. The con cottage pie is my favourite sort of hot food, mm. uh, and the porridge. Like they're sort of all my regulars every day. I would have all of those. I love the old cottage pie. And I love the new cottage pie. Spaghetti, spicy spaghetti. When it was not spicy originally, you did the spaghetti bolognese <laughs> yeah. one, yeah. And now it's the new, the new spicy. I like those. Two. They're all really good food. They're all really nice. So Fantastic. It's, yeah, it's hard to break down what you don't like. Which, which one? Yeah, exactly. I'll accept that one. <laughs> and for for me, then again, another really important question at this point, Sonia, would be. To anyone that's listening to this interview and maybe hasn't ever done anything like this before or has concerns, what would you say to them if their goals was just to lose weight and get the confidence back? Just give it one week. Get yourself over. Take that chance. You've nothing to lose. Take Get yourself through the first three days and see how good you feel after three days only. Three days. And then the, you'll see that that huge change in your body, the bloatiness, everything, you'll feel so much lighter already, even though you wouldn't have lost a huge amount. But you are automatically in your head start feeling so much slimmer after three days. And then after a week and you see your big seven, ten pounds, whatever, you know, loss, that's a huge drive. So if you can get yourself over the first three days even, you're there. You're on your road to no turning back, I think. Super. Well, Sonia, thank you so much. And that you're a real inspiration. Oh, I've thank you. thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed uh, interviewing you, and I hope that we'll get the chance to speak again soon. Thank you, Grant. And all the best. Have a lovely day. Thanks, Sonia. Thanks so much. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.